Rudy. Alpha Investments. We brought in the Monopoly Man for the high roller. Video number three of the Alpha Flesh and Blood. This is it. This is my last one I got in queue. This video is brought to you by my patron, Brandon B. Also known as Two Bs. Brandon, boxes are pushing what? Three, four thousand bucks. Good luck, man. This is uh, the last one was uh, good rares and light and striking thing, but the last video we did had zero cold foils. So, again, from the same case. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping today that this box will have two cold foils. That is kind of what we're going for here. Get a nice little picture view for everybody. No, or, just, or should we just use the Monopoly Man? I don't know. All right. Oh boy. We ready? Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. Hopefully we get some crazy pulls. I don't, this is the last one. Uh, I don't have any other, <laughs> any other expensive crazy alpha boxes in queue. So this is it. Gauntlet. Here we go. Overpower, first rare. Second rare, Steel Blade Shaunt. And Common Smash Instinct for a Common Foil. Pack one, Common Foil with a beautiful Miss Dorinthia, Young Dorinthia in the back over here. All right. So, obviously we know now, it's all been proven that you can get between zero and apparently three cold foils in a box. And the volatility is very real. All right, folks. Overpower. Uh, the... Uh, Two resource, yellow pitch. And we got the disable. Is that a mark on the card? Nope, that's just dust. And a common slugsum. I don't really know what the point of this card is, but it's a generic attack. It's, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I was going to get into it about that card, but I'm going to let it be. Bravo. I'm going to let it be today. We're, we're just going to, we're not going to go too much and get wound up about things. We're just going to, we're going to enjoy and look for some spice. That's what we're doing today, folks. Okay, Helm, Drone of Brutality, rare, Steel Blade Shunt, single resource, single pitch, nice little pink stripe there, rare, and a common Stonewall Confidence, very boring. Okay, and <laughs> that artwork always cracks me. That reminds me of Shrek for some reason, I, I don't know why. That particular artwork always gets to me. All right, in a club. Okay, well, so far, nothing exciting. We don't have any super rares, majestics, legendaries, fables. We don't have cold food. We don't got nothing. We got some scalers there. Ooh, potion of strength. Excellent. I love the potions. And we got ourselves a savage feast. Coming through with our first foil rare, the blue snatch for the three resource one there. Uh, th honestly, the snatch card is actually a pretty good card. Depending on uh, what kind of deck and how you want to balance your resource management. Um, you can choose your old uh, power level and resource there, but you know the snatch card. It's a good card. It's very well played It's quite a bit uh, very well loved and the fact it's uh, generic, right? Yeah, generic I was like it is generic it can be played in any deck Savage Feast our first super rare of the day the crazy brew alpha print Very very cool card absolutely beautiful coming through with a common sink below All right, so hey not bad crazy remember <laughs> You know, the values of these things, even when you go on TCG Play and look them up, make sure you're checking the price checking the uh, the actual Alpha first, the first edition versions, not the regular. There's a huge price difference in that. Blessing of Deliverance, Warrior's Valor, and... Oh, Foil Common! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. The Helm, the flipping Common Helm for the Cold Foil. Well, it was an early pull. We could get a second. Common foil, cold foil, iron rot helm with a nice silvery cold foil. Up there in the cold foil land. Ah, ah, Brandon. That is not what we wanted to see here. Holy smokes, a common cold foil helm. Absolutely slap in the face disappointment for the cold foil slot. Hoping for a second cold foil. Another potion of strength, very nice. Flickety flack. And a common foil, very nice looking pummel for a nice little generic attack. And beautiful young Dorinthia over there with her little harmonized kabachi. Um, so at this point in time, we are the only thing we can do with the cold foils, we can hope that this is going to be a double cold foil box. 
The fact we got the cold foil so early on the left side, it does seem like the odds are going to be higher that this is going to be a multiple cold foil box. So keep that in mind. Drone of Brutality and a Steel Blade Shunt and a Common Foil. The infamous head jab with a different artwork. Crack Bobble. Yeah, the, uh, the head jab with the uh, cartoon uh, anime style art in that uh, Welcome to Ira deck. Uh, welcome to Ira deck. <laughs> Ira Welcome deck. Uh, is definitely uh, highly sought after compared to the regular one. All right, here we go. Fluster Fist, Fliggity Flack, and uh, Barraging Down. Wow, this is not a good alpha box so far. I'm not going to call this early. We're not even halfway through. Here, we'll take the packs out of the box so you guys can see better. We're not even halfway through here, but still, this is this is not really turning out as a very... This could be the worst one we've had unless we get some spice here. This is terrible. We don't even have... We have one super... We have no Majestics. We don't have anything, man. So, here we go. Strapping. Oh, Time Snap Potion, my favorite potion in the game that exists right now. Absolutely, probably the most, I just think that's such an underappreciated card. And, of course, Barraging and a Foil Common. That is a crazy looking piece of art on that bad boy, that slog. And going into the Hominize. Ah, the Iron Rod. That, that, that common equipment, man. Those things are just so... Ah. I don't know. I don't know. I just... They're just terrible cards. <laughs> they're just terrible cards, man. All right, here we go. Blackout Kick for the nice rare. Very... Oh! Majestic Steel Blade Supreme. Okay. First time we've pulled that. We didn't even pull that in the other boxes. Holy smokes. Look at that. Oh. Steel Blade Supreme. Oh, my God. Can you imagine that in foil? And a foil comment over here for unmovable. Uh, we have not seen... Actually... I don't even know if we've ever pulled this particular card. Steel Blade Ascendant Supremacy. Oh, I can't even talk now. Steel Blade Supremacy. Warrior action, obviously, only Dorinthia. Duh, she's even in the flipping art. So end of turn. Target weapon gains a plus two attack. Whenever this weapon hits, and you draw a card. Wow. Okay. That's... How much does it cost? One? God, that bordering, though. Jeez, that bordering. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's our first Majestic of the box. I don't know what this could be. We've been having, I've noticed some of the videos, I was replaying some of them back. We seem to get a lot of our spice later in the box and towards the end. Sigil, Overpower, and Foil Rare, Flickety Flack for the second Foil Rare. So I, I've, I've been noticing that lately for these, uh, even on the Arcane Rising four boxes we did on that, uh, I did notice very quickly on that I think like two of the videos, like the last pack of the box, we were getting the craziest pulls. It's like the bottom left, bottom right pack down there. Iron Rot Helm. Yeah, I know. There's our non-cold foil. It's a terrible card, man! It literally does nothing. It has no abilities. It doesn't accumulate counters. It doesn't get stronger. It can only... It can literally use it for one free block, for one defense. And then, of course, even if somehow... It, it breaks no matter what. Even if, even though, you know, it break anyways. But still, a rare and hello... See, wow. Well, uh, Brandon, I, I hope you're a Dorinthia fan because literally this deck is loaded with warrior cards. Super rare stinging seal blade singing. Wow. Great card. Okay. So that is where's our super rare pile? And a eh, that's a common. Common foil. So that is wow, look at those look at those warrior Dorinthia cards. Dude, that gold, the bordering on those cards are epic, man. Holy smokes, those things look nice. Alright, here we go, folks. Helm. Overpower. Ooh, super rare pounding gale for our first super rare. This is the ninja one. Um, it, it's a good card. I just, I'm not a ninja fan. Sorry, folks. Just not for me. And we got a foil common. The old Nature's Path Pilgrimage. Beautiful, beautiful card on that one. And here we go. Into the old Katsu back there. Huh. I gotta price check that Steel Blade Supremacy. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't, I think it's, it's the first time we've ever pulled that. I'm not familiar too much with that particular card. I have not pulled that before. Energy! Wow, a lot of po- This is our fourth potion, isn't it? It's our fourth potion in the video. And a Blessing of Deliverance and a Common Nibblism. And, uh, yeah, I gotta price check that when the video's over. That's Steel Blade Supremacy. I have a funny feeling that's over $100. Yeah, uh, we're not doing good financially here so far, folks. We need some good hits, man. We got a bunch of $5, 10 $20 cards, but we are just not home running it. Blackout Kick. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Super rare. Okay. F wow, that looks... Beautiful showtime. That's our first super rare of the video here, folks. Excellent, excellent pull. Beautiful Miss Young Dorinthia back there. Okay, okay. Wow, okay. That's our first um 
It's our first. I think it's our first Guardian anything in this in this video. Actually, I think it's. Literally, I don't think we've had any Guardian cards really that are decent. All right, peak. Keep going here. Fluster Fist. And wow. Okay, now we're getting a lot of wild cards. Okay, Sand Sketched Plan. Again, not a big brute fan. Brute and the uh, ninja are my two least favorite uh, classes, but that's just me. Um, not familiar with this card very much, actually. Switch your deck for a card, put it in your hand, discard a random shot. Whoa, okay. And if the, whoa, if the discard a card has six or more attack, gain two gain two action points. Okay. That's that's interesting. Definitely some room for shenanigans there. In a common plummel. Plummel? Plummel. Plummel plummel. Okay. Well, Still going here. See what we can get here. Oh, these I That's like a third helm. <laughs> What's with the duplication in this box? Flickety Flack. And Barraging Beatdown. And a Foil Steel Blade Shunt for another uh, Warrior card there. For the actual rare and a Rider. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get something. We have not pulled anything exotic, man. It really sucks. I really, I really wanted to see something really crazy in this uh, Alpha series. I know the Arcane box openings, but we had some Patriots. Some really wild pulls, though. Warriors Valor, and whoa, whoa, oh my God, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, I gotta put this. Oh my God, we have a double cold foil box. It's a flippin' legendary <laughs> Oh, Brandon. Arms and feet in the vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to go to value. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, hang on. I got to put it down. I need a sleeve. Hang on. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, folks. Holy smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon, congratulations. Hold on, I got to look at the condition real quick. Hold on, let me, let me just... Oh, my God. <laughs> what a pull. Oh, one of the most expensive cards, best cards in the set. I would say... I remember when I checked the other day on eBay, there were only two of these for sale between two and three thousand dollars. So even on the low side, I'm gonna say fifteen hundred to, to up to a two two thousand dollar card. Oh my god! Okay, so for those of you who don't know what we're looking at here, look at that. Oh my! Those of you who don't know what we're looking at, tectonic planing here. Uh, obviously, guardian card here. So again, seriously. Um, what do we got? Is, I thought there's some guardian stuff too. No, is it just Dorinthia Warrior? I thought we had a guardian stuff. Okay. Oh wait, up there. Didn't it? Yeah, I was like, Showtime was, I was like, I knew we had something. I was looking in the wrong pile. So, again, this is kind of like the Tunic, uh, Findles, um, because pretty much every turn, oh my god, I'm just, I cannot believe we pulled this. Holy smokes. So every turn, essentially, this thing creates token. You pay a resource, so when you're pitching cards and doing your turn, you can always pay one resource and create, you literally create tokens each turn. I mean, you can only do it once per turn, but you can create a token every single turn and then go again. It doesn't end your turn. It's phenomenal. These type of kind of um, kind of any form of turn or like creation cards are phenomenal, and the card looks spotless. Sorry, I put the sleeve on first. The card looks great. Holy smokes! Wow, double cold foil bag. Oh my god! I told you we had that early cold foil pull, and I was like, you know what? There's a chance we actually have a double one on this box. Holy smokes, Sigil, Breakneck. And Onslaught for a Foil Common. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Well, congratulations. Um, the price you paid for the box. I know the box prices on the market are, what, $3,500 range? And um, yeah, obviously, didn't, I didn't charge you $3,500 for the box. But still, you probably have value. I'd say you're probably between three and 4000 in expected value in the actual first edition cards here. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, slap my chalupa to a pretzel stick. Are you kidding me right now? Well, foil common, crush confidence, nobody cares. Are you serious right now? Non-foil, Tome of Findel. Are you serious? Majestic to Oh my god, what a box! What a box! The third and final alpha box opening. Like I said, I have one more in the case. And uh, obviously, we don't have a. I didn't have a buyer for. I only sold two. I didn't realize. You know, I just have an extra. This is the last one. The video queue. Holy smoke! This card is phenomenal. This is 
this has got to be one of the best cards in the game. Like, I, I don't know why. I don't even know. It's it's like, I feel like it's underpriced and everything. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. Just to give you a couple second Rudy rundown of Rudy cheesiness here, just so you know, it's a yellow two resource pitch, costs one to play. It can, uh, you know, it can defend for two. But the point is you draw two cards. Card draw in this game, it, it's like it's like Bizarre Baghdad type thing. It's like Library of Alexandria and MTG World. Card draw is such a big deal, folks. I can't emphasize enough to you all, like, the importance of card draw in this game. Anyways, play the card action. You draw two cards. And, of course, it's played from your arsenal, which is the pile down there. And um, you gain an extra. Look at this. Ready for this? If it's played from the arsenal, you gain a life for each card in your hand. Hello? Anybody? That's got to be, like, you're drawing cards and you're gaining, you can, you're gaining multiple. <laughs> I mean... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. Um, where are we at here? This is Majestic. That's our... This might be the best box opening. I, I don't think we can top this this box opening. I don't think we're going to top it. This is epic, man. Sigil. Blackout kick. A nice little nimble strike for the uh, for the common there. Only two packs left. We're going to end the video. Again, brand new. Congratulations on the epic, epic box opening, man. Holy crap, what an amazing video. Blackout kick, and of course, oh, super rare, Remembrance. Okay, very cool. Not not one of my personal favorite ones, but just so you guys know, costs nothing to play. Shuffle up the three action cards from your graveyard into your deck, and of course banish kind of or exile the card. I mean, it, it just doesn't really, that doesn't really mean much to me. Um, where's our super, wow, are these all super rares, really? And by the way, Blessing of Deliverance, actually a very nice Guardian Foil Rare, actually, in the uh, first edition with that nice pink stripe at the top is actually... Don't underestimate the value of some of those Foil Rares on these Alpha Boxes. Seriously, a lot of those are 10 to 50 bucks a pop, man. They are not cheap. Last pack in the box, not expecting anything anymore. Staunch and ending, yeah, common. <laughs> the way the Shrek card, Awakening Bellow. Oh, man, I love it. I love it when we get a home run, like an amazing video that we can all share and enjoy together. Like, that is just, to me, it makes the video so much more enjoyable. It makes it more exciting. It's more, it's enjoyable for everybody to watch. So, overall, again, a double cold foil box opening with a flipping tectonic. Look at that. Look at the thing that I'm pointing. Oh, God. Thanks for watching, folks. Brandon, Congratulations. Um, I would estimate at two thousand dollars, a hundred, probably uh, the foil commons, even even first edition foil commons. Let's say ten bucks a piece. Um, the foil rares between ten and fifty a piece. Uh, Showtime. I'm not sure what that one is. That could be fifty. That could be like a hundred bucks. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're you're probably looking at. I'd say between th uh, thirty five hundred dollars. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm just guessing. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. Again, as always, I know I focus on the numbers and the chase of getting to, that loot hunt and the old, uh, you know, that whole Path of Exile Diablo-style loot hunt for gear. Love that kind of thing. But again, seriously, folks, try playing the game. It's a lot of fun. It's very complex. Good strategies. It's a very lot of decision-making, critical kind of critical thinking. By the way, yeah, Tomb of Findel. Look at these pools, man. All right, man.